Good afternoon and welcome back again to the action from Table 2, Event 3, and we're down to the last 16. Uh, scores on the screen will reset pretty sh pretty shortly, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. It's, um, it's definitely not five each. We've literally just got underway, it's nil-nil. Carl Morris against Hitton Patel. Um, both have navigated some tough games so far. Carl Morris beating Carl Sutton yesterday. Uh, and then going through into the 32. Can't recall who he beat in the 32. I'll think of that in a second. And Hitton Patel beat John McAllister last night. So they've both had a, um, a couple of tough games. Um, Carl Morris, yeah, Aaron Davis, that's right. Um, Carl Morris with a buzzer beater against Aaron Davis last night. So that should be... It should be a pretty closely matched game. They're both playing well this weekend. I'm joined by the lovely Babs Taylor on commentary. Good afternoon, Babs. Good afternoon. Lovely to finally join you. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. And um, a little bit late on this game, but uh, that's because the, we had the excitement of the six red shootout. Stevie Dempsey against Luke Sanchez. Stevie Dempsey blessed this weekend. Um, he should have had a six red shootout last night, but got given a chance in the last frame by Dave Fernandez that he probably shouldn't have had and uh, just narrowly came through that one and narrowly come through another game now and it's a bit formidable when when players are doing that yeah it's not as if uh, he needs much help <laughs> and the number one and the number two seeds still in the event Tom Cousins going through against Eddie Barker 7-3 Eddie came off that table and said that was disgusting what he just did to me there I think uh, Tom's hitting a, a bit of form as you expect. Three games ongoing at the moment. Sean Story against Luke Gilbert on the main table. And across on table three, Gary Clark against Chaos Cole Bedford. But here it's Hitton Patel with the first chance. Just ran out of position early, but uh, he's recovered. He needs to get hold of this cue ball now, though. That's a good recovery shot. I've been looking forward to this match because Carl obviously is on a massive high, obviously, with his, his buzzer-beating clearance. But... Also, the fact that he's getting a lot of coverage on BBC at the moment for his uh, wonder shot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you go on the BBC website, it's up there next to Luke Littler on the darts. So he's uh, feeling quite pleased with himself at the moment. The only trouble is with that shot from Hitton a second ago, the red's gone across and kind of guarded the, the eight ball a little bit. So this is now a tough finish. He needs to get up for that yellow at the top of the table and somehow navigate position on the eight. Not a gimme from here, Babs. No, he could use the red to actually narrow the angle down. And that's exactly what he's done is perfect. Just that little kiss was able to take some of the, the harshness of the angle out. And he's literally just got to pull that white ball back to the, to the side rail on the right. He's not going to be able to get close to the eight, though. He's going to be no. playing it from a bit of distance. Just needs to judge this well. He's going to have a tough, tough eight ball wherever he... Uh, Wherever he lands, and that's about as good as he could have done, but mm, this is a tester. Not one I really would want in, your open, in the opening frame, but it, it's one of them ones if you nail it, you're almost planting you. Yeah, just sort of setting the stall for the rest of the match, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, nice. played it really confidently, really firmly as well. Yeah, 1998, 11-5 with Keith Brewer. It was 2000, he lost in the final to the um, legend Jason Twist, 11-10. Yes, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, um, just, just, look, just Googling Carl Morris's name, I mean, the Daily Express English pool star makes shot of the century as fans left baffled by Houdini. <laughs> Sport Bible, poor player nails a one in 10,000 shot twice to leave commentators astounded. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen it yet on the BBC side. He's gone, they've done, gone to his club to do a, a piece on it. And he was saying, it. yeah, it's a one in 10,000 shot. And they've set it up and he's nailed it again first time. <laughs> and he was like, wow. So, yeah, he's um, got almost like a second wind, a, a second phase to his, his poor career, Carl. And he's thoroughly making the most of it and enjoying it but I think um, one good shot here from from hit and he's he's gonna be under it from the off in this match 
Yeah, just a little bit betwixt and between both these yellows left and right of the pack. So I'm probably going to have to take the one to the left, but he needs to, he needs to control it well. And he's gonna, I, mean, I don't think he can get through to the one closest to the pocket, but yeah, he's going to have to take this one as I thought. Mm, that's no good. He didn't seem to get get into that. There no. was tentative, wasn't it? Yeah. Tough now because even if he cuts this um, this yellow back, then um, he's going to be flying into the pack. And he needs a bit of luck. Things are going to go flying here. Hang on to your hat. Yeah. So much chance for that to go wrong, and it has. A little bit unfortunate, I guess, but um, that's what happens when you run out of position. You're running into balls. That's just, that's the kind of thing that can happen. You, you can't predict. You can't. When you're playing it that thin and at that pace, you can't predict what you're going to end up. Sometimes it's plainly obvious, but... Again, he's going to have to play this with pace to be able to bring the white back out. Yeah. Um, a first real chance for Carter. Yeah, still a little bit of a tricky finish. I mean, it's about those the two reds that are on top of each other, just above the eight ball spot. If they um, independently pot without having to develop them, then that's going to help. But he's, he's literally well, he kind of played a, a bit of a two in one there. Just kind of tentatively went for the double, but trying to trying to get some cover as well. I think he's left the edge of this yellow for Hitton, but Hitton certainly can't attack from here. The only thing is, is I'm just wondering, looking at this, can he see enough to actually play the the top yellow in off of the bottom yellow? Can he see enough? Indeed. I'm not sure that. No. No. That's it. Decent enough shot. He puts his hand up to apologise. He's left absolutely nothing for Carl here, and actually, it's a, a bit of a tough safety shot as well. I'm, I'm not so sure. Just trying to. I do this every time I'm on comms. I'm trying to bend to look round the corner, but <laughs> I'm just wondering whether he can just do play it quite simply, coming off of one rail. Either way, the way the way he's looking right now with a touch of side. I think that might be the best option for leaving nothing available. Yeah. Well, mm. he's left it on a, a sniff at this. It's a very, very thin cutback and the, the cue ball is hard to control, but you feel that there's not a lot left in the way of safety. You think that he has to kind of, has to go for this pot, doesn't he? The trouble is, if he gets it, how does that benefit him? Maybe he does see a safety. Can he run in behind the eight ball? Oh, well, that's a very decent it's attempt. Very difficult to... Yeah. But again, he's made it messy. Yeah. Carl can see this ball to the far left. He's just looking now. He's going to leave his time at the top of the table, which is whether he was going to leave that yellow off the red. I think he's decided that it doesn't go, so... Oh, but how well has he judged that? It certainly doesn't go now. No, that, that's a great shot. Yeah, delightful. And actually quite uh, quite tough to get out of because all the, the natural angles down the left side are covered by the eight ball, the two cushion escape. The, sorry, the, yeah, the side cushion, bottom cushion. So he's going to have to come to the right side. Yeah, he had to hit that with pace. He did. Yeah, knowing that he was going to open the table as well. Had to try and get lucky. Yeah, Carl, Carl couldn't have, have wished for anything. It, it worked out perfect. And, and again, just that little bit of extra patience, getting a good safety shot, has worked himself into a position where now this is dot to dot stuff for Carl, yeah. really. Interesting there. The, the referee gave Carl the, the spare ball that he, um, that he had. Carl saying, no, I want the one that's in the, in the yeah. shoot. Is that like a superstition thing, do you think? It's probably just a Carl thing. That's strange, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I've 
let's like say it's not like it's not almost like it's not tennis where the the ball's warm or <laughs> something like that but it's probably just called me and Carl never seen anyone do that before no I prefer this one it's my lucky ball <laughs> <laughs> Still absolutely fine here. Probably not quite the order he wanted to take them in. No, I think he can still get back on on track because what he wants is the, that ball into the right centre to be his penultimate yeah. to then use the red that's almost sort of just above the black spot to be able to to drop onto the black. But I think he's on route route D. Yeah, this, yeah. It, it's definitely not ideal because the yellow in the middle of the table plays plays big when you're trying to get on that eight ball. Oh, he's, he's going to have to pull out a big shot here. I think he's going to have to pull it down and play the black into the he is. pocket, I think. Yeah, he's going to have to come short side. Yeah, this is not anywhere near as easy as it should have been. And ultimately, he's missed the pot. But he's and got away with it. Hasn't he ever? Wow. And even if he'd have got it, look what he'd left himself. Yeah. Put your hand up and say sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> and your leg. <laughs> yeah, that's extremely unfortunate for hitting. I think you just have to go up and down and, and hope for the best. I mean, there's nowhere particularly safe on the table. No. I mean, if you're over the left-hand side of the table, then at this end, then... Wow. Oh, what a shot. Oh, that is a great what shot. What a great shot. And he had to had to play that as well. But he's going to have to pull out another one here because he's got entirely the wrong angle on this uh, on this yellow. And the, the, the red, red is... Red is blocking the path yeah, to come around the angles. Is. Yeah, it is. Oh, he looks like he's going for the double. He is. Yeah, he's kind of forced into going for the double just because of that where that red is. Ooh. Well, he kind of, kind of played that... I guess with a, there's a bit of a modicum of safety there because this is a really thin cutback for Carl into the middle pocket, and that's why he played that double at a, quite a slow pace. I think this is easy enough for Carl. It's not quite as thin as it looks. No, it actually, there. it's not, is it? Yeah. They still played it well, but yeah. I can't believe it actually looked at one point that Hitton had actually overcooked getting out of that snooker and, yeah. and then he went too far yeah yeah it was um i still i still prefer the i still prefer the um the cutback person i know that red was in the way but um if you dig down in the ball you can get higher up on that and it's a kind of natural angle to go um side cushion top cushion and then right hand side it was a, it was fairly natural if you dig down you could have missed that red He's now 5-2 up against Sean Story. Wow. Cue ball. Oh, straight in. Straight in. Look at that break as well. Yeah, it's all about the red that's at this end of the table on top of the yellow, whether that passes. I think it goes to... That's like yellow. Well, true. Yeah, absolutely. Yellow's... I think yellow. That it's more. The odds are more likely that that yellow yeah, below does, the yeah, red the, passes. The so yellow definitely goes. But again, he's he's overcooked this first shot. Yeah. Yeah, he just can't get this cue ball in um, in the right position at the moment. Yeah, I, I commentated on um, uh, the current world champion Clayton. Um, he was playing a match uh, yesterday, and it was just at no point did it look like. That's going to miss them and land plum. <laughs> That's definitely not what he played. <laughs> Absolutely not what he played. Carl, He'll take it. There'll be a shake of the head from Carl Morris, I can tell you that much. Oh, yeah. But he will definitely take it. That, that I think the ball pinged off way faster than he thought it would. He was trying, yeah. to, trying to land on one of these two yellows and um, yeah. just came below them and landed perfectly. But, yeah, no, it was the pace of the table yesterday when I was doing some, some commentary and... Because obviously the players are, were so much better than was was shown, and it was the pace of the table. But when you're at the last 16 part of the, the tournament, you would have thought that they would have 
have got it, but again, they are like lightning, and he's took them out. Oh, now he's raised his hand. <laughs> 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 Give us a shot of Carl's head. It'll probably fall off in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> And you just got to look at the lineup for the last 16 and the names that are in there. And that is a dry, is it dry? Or? Yeah, it is dry. But, um, oh my goodness, it's touching ball on the red. <laughs> that is so messy. There's one yellow in the middle of the table that you can go at. I don't think there's anything else. Certainly can't get through to the red that's over the pocket, so he's got a long straight yellows and Yellows don't offer a, a massive reward. There's those two, well, that yellow tied up in the pack is, is awkward. Not one you'd be licking your lips. No. But, um, yeah, and he's, he's lost that cue ball straight away. Not quite sure. Quite sure what happened there. Carl caught foul on himself. Well, that's can sure. we can we see that again? I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Not took. He's definitely called foul on himself. Well, wow. the referee's getting involved now. I'm honestly. Do not know. Well, the red didn't move. I didn't see the red ball move. I don't. For the life of me, don't know what happened there. Ah, is it because when it's a touching ball, you're supposed to nominate the ball that you're going to go? Oh, it's for? loss of it's loss of turn. Yeah, because, because he's deemed to have hit the red first. Yeah, if he's not nominated the, oh, either colour. Of course. But surely the ref would call that, not Carl. Uh, not no, I sure. think maybe the ref did say something. Maybe the ref did, yeah. I think the ref would have said something and then Carl, yeah. Carl, Carl was like, you know, had obviously had a couple of words to say. Yeah. After, um, from the break, if it's a touching ball, you have to nominate the colour that you're going for because obviously... Yeah, yeah. Can you even, or would he have to go for reds because he's touching no. the red? No, no, no. You, you uh, can uh, still know it. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, okay. But you have to. A bit like when you, even with a normal break, if you've got two balls very close together, yeah. where it's not clear yeah, which one and obvious. Have. I mean, for, for a lot of people it would be obvious, but you, you're still supposed to nominate to indicate which one you're actually going for to pop. Oh, sorry, first three frames. Yeah, the score's still not right. And um, that's that's not with us. That's out in the arena. So the, I think the referee's just not hit the button. Or it's just, maybe it's just part of the gremlin that um, they're experiencing at the moment. These things happen with, um, with live pool. Yeah, I'm sure it'll update in a minute. We'll let the, we'll let the guys know in the arena. Let the experts get on. Yeah, yeah. As I say, there might just be a disconnect between the scoreboard out there and, uh, and what's updating the screen, but uh, I'm sure it'll write itself soon. Eight ball's still a problem for Hitton. He's, he's tried to he tried to fix the problem then, and um, just a little glancing blow on the yellow. Anything just slightly thicker would have been perfect. I think the only option you've got here now is this, the angle that he leaves on this last one and he, he has got options because if, if possible he can either screw into it and it will be naturally moving across towards the bottom uh, left but if he hasn't got the angle for it he can actually attempt to try and drop below it because I'm sure it will go into the right centre yeah. so he's got yeah. he's got options if he's, he does look like he hasn't got the angle it looks like it's fairly dead set towards that right right that right pocket as well so any contact on the yellow would promote the ball towards the pocket but as you say, he could try and get in behind as well. Let's just see what he decides to do. It's going to be tough to get get behind from here, I think. Though he just needs to not pinch too, try and pinch too much of the pocket. Yeah. Oh, he's played that well. Just don't. Just stick. needs it to release. Oh, that's Stop. so unlucky. Just needed a half ball contact, and he got the full ball. 
and are stuck behind it. That's unlucky. And now you've got to say this is, well, I mean, if he doesn't get the the uh, the one cushion escape and pot it, then it's another amazing chance for Carl. And Carl, really, his two frames would have been one from a very, very, oh, oh wow. Football. Wow, I was just about to say, you know, it's... Um, He's played that like it was nothing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, I do this every day. What a great shot this is. Look at this. Beautifully judged. Oh. And that's a lovely clearance because I don't think he could have got much more pace on that shot to develop that. So I've taken a lot from um, beating John McAllister. John put up a status afterwards saying that um, he was... He was sick halfway through the, um, the match and he really was under the weather, but um, take nothing away from Hitton. I think Hitton was 5-3 um, behind in that match and came back to win 6-5. There we go, the scoreboard is now correct. Which is great. All things are, are right with the world. I think with some players as well, I think once you get through those early rounds, that's when you can actually proper relax and let your arm go. But I think the pressure of getting through those first and second rounds, because again, you've got your own expectations and at least once you've got to this stage, you can almost literally let your arm go. And you feel like you're also in the event rather than always on the outside. You're actually, Oof. and that wasn't even close by Carl and then no. he of the black. Yeah, a, a, a real pickle that table was because mm. he, he was pretty much forced into going yellows and um, and they were horrible and he tried to tried to pot that and get across and break them out but there was always a risk there with that eight ball hanging over the pocket and even now they're still pretty ugly I'm not sure if that yellow pass is the red to top right you've got the yellow on the right hand side which has got the eight ball and the red guarding it either side I think there could have been an argument for reds I know that you've got the, the two that are on the left hand side but there could have been an argument for reds. I think the, the, the problem was the red that Hitton just flicked off was, it didn't go anywhere. There, there was a ball below it and it obviously didn't drop to middle either. So, and it was a tough ball to develop. There was nothing around it. Um, there was a ball right below it. Was there? Yeah, Carl, I, Carl cleared I thought, it. I thought the red could get the no, I looked at that red earlier and Carl cleared the ball that was below it right. when, he, when he knocked into the ball. nice pot but um, it's all about whether that yellow goes at the top of the table well, I think it does because the way you're looking at the two that are glued together there I'm not sure oh, no. he's, he's, not the even he's not even looked at it yeah I but think um, he's, he's looking at it now and I think he needs to if he's going to pull back he needs to do it now if he's going to attack it's hard to see how Two seconds, play one second left. He's tried to come around and nudge it out there. Didn't get there. Running out of options now. And you feel having potted that ball, he pro he's committed now to the clearance. Well, I think he could take this ball into the bottom right and try and leave himself a nice angle on the lower yellow to yep. be able to pull it up into to split them. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Oof. No, no, miss that by a margin. Actually done himself a favour and just tied up that red again though, because that, that red was, um, I mean, it's still a massive problem for, for Carl. He's going to have to live up to his name now he's, if he's going to take these out. He's going to double it, he's going to play the double, but I think we might see a couple of doubles in this clearance. Conversely, the, the red at the top of the table will, I think, pass the yellow, so it's potable, the red's potable, whereas yeah. the yellow isn't, so. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, early bath, 4-1 Hitan Patel, 21 years of age and how he was sort of one of the legends of the game and um, shortly after, a couple of days after the event, um, I got a phone call and it was um, it, it was Carl's wife and she said, look, obviously Carl can't talk to you on the phone, but um, he wanted me to ring you and, and, tra and you know, just translate what he wanted to say. And um, he just said that you know my family were watching that um, that match, and my kids were watching, and all the wonderful things you said about me. They were so proud of their dad, 
and I just wanted to ring you and thank you so much for you know just yeah just just doing that he said because they, they loved it and, and I thought uh, he didn't need to do that you know he didn't need to phone me up and it was just it, no, it was just nice you know it's really nice and, and Carl gets a bad rep sometimes I think know? yeah but the, the bit that I'm enjoying most about when you look at the the whole ultimate Paul experience is that again people like Carl who in my opinion like a lot of those who played before or yesteryear didn't never got the recognition that I think that they deserved as as poor players and thankfully he's still you know good enough uh, but a bit older and a bit wiser yeah. but he's yeah. finally getting the recognition yeah. that he deserves for what he's brought to the game of pool the and what he's done in the game you know the thing is about Carr if you, if you look at his game he's by no way by no means could anyone make an argument that he's he's naturally gifted he doesn't have a natural cue action he's had to work hard for what he's for what he's got his 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 cue action is very hybrid to this game uh, he, he, i i i don't know but i doubt very much if if he's like you know a, a, a a century plus snooker player his brother's better yeah I, I i but do you know what i mean if if you look at his cue action it's it's fiddly it's it, it's not really it's not classic no. as you call but but it works for him he's made it work yeah. it's but it's hybrid and you know with with all of his the talent that he has it's it's probably never been sort of a natural gift whereas some players you just look at them and you say he's just he's just a yeah. natural talent it's, like, so it's yeah he was it was born to do this yeah Carl's, for me, he's had to probably work harder than, than other people to, to, yeah. to make it work for him. I think, I think he has, but... Because when, when you cue like this, there are... You, you are going to naturally make mistakes yes, a bit more. you are. Yeah. Your cue ball's going to run out a little bit more because yeah. it, it's just a bit more jabby and a bit more stabby. But again, because he's always been able to find and pull the big shot out or pull the... Uh, he's got that knowledge of... Again, that's where he's got his nickname from. Exactly. Uh, that, that, that's exactly. I was going to say exactly the same thing. He's called Houdini for a reason. Yeah. You know, he's it's been not relying on his on his pot, potting and his ability to his his eye for with the angles yeah. and to manipulate situations yeah. like this, like yeah. this. I mean, this is for me. This is like a I don't know, like a, a one in twenty finish from here. But you know, he'd probably get it like one in seven or something. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. other players is one in twenty. I mean, look at it. It's horrible. He's got the vision. Yeah. If he gets out from here, it's a it's somewhat of a miracle. Yeah. I mean, he's left a chance. He's got an angle. He needs to come up and down the table, but this is very, very tough. Very tough. Doesn't need loads of pace. Oh. No, it, it, it was to too much to, angle, wasn't he's it? He's trying to check it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's loaded that up with so much side. He's going to have to find something here. This could be another highlight reel if he does find a way to get this one because this is very tough. Can't see anything. No, I can't, I can't see anything. Trying to block the black He's again. Got, oh dear <laughs> me. Well, the one good thing for him, I guess, is that he's made this very tough for Hitton. Those four balls in a cluster, the one in the kind of middle of that cluster is obviously guarded now by the red, won't go to the pocket. You've got the two on top of each other on the right hand side yeah. cushion. So I think it's gonna be duck for cover for Hitton. Probably gonna pop this ball to the middle of them, run to the top of the table and play a little snooker. Um, tough to get a really telling snooker from here. I think he might put a couple more and maybe use the ones on the. I only say the snooker because I think he's got the wrong angle here. Yeah. If he had a better angle, yeah, then I think he, you, you're right. I think he would try and try and develop those, but he had a really thin angle there. But it should be, you know. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. I'm not having it. Just stop it. I mean, it's a it's a fairly routine yeah. two-cushion two escape. The middle pocket is just in the way, so he's going to have to play it with side. Oh, 
expecting to hit it though. Oh wow! Unlucky. He went around it. He went around it, and that gives the luxury of a ball in hand for hitting. So, don't know if he can now do something. With I wonder if that outside of those two yellows, if you get the cue ball in the right place, whether it will go. Yes. It yeah, does. it does, doesn't it? It does. Well, that helps. That definitely helps. That's where cue ball in hand is um, is a massive bonus here because he can take out both of these balls. And this now a great chance for him to go 5-1. That scoreboard still lagging. Quite sure there may be just a little connection error between us and the arena. But just to confirm, it is 4-1. Should be a formality from here. The one just below the bulk line on the left hand side, below the eight, is the only ball that needs any consideration. And he's, looks like he's going to go after that now. He's tried to land on it from middle, just come a little bit far, which makes it a touch more awkward. And the cue ball's heading towards the eight as well, so I think he's going to have to reroute. He was definitely I targeting that ball. I think, to be fair, he can take this one and pull up the inside of it and yeah. leave an angle to come round to take. The, that ball into the same pocket all three go into the same one but he's certainly not going to be able to do that now well, he's and landed I think he, straight yeah he's he might be able to stun across and pinch a bit but mm. I think it, he just needed to leave it short so that he could actually come off at the bottom and then the side rail well this should have been much easier than it is yeah he may even have to screw all the way back down Babs and, unless he can stun across just pinch an angle but Oh, he's well. took his medicine. He has. He's left the double. Unless he is going to try and cut it. I think the double's easier than the cut, though. It's, it's also, a horrid cut. It's also easier when you fall one up. Oh, yeah, for sure. No. Well. No. Wow. Mm. I, I mean, that was a formality finish. Uh, I did say early doors that that was the only ball that needed cons some consideration because it obviously didn't go to the, to the top left. Yeah. And when he didn't land it... With it from the ball in the middle, yeah. yeah. But he he literally just ran that ball through. I thought he would have actually stunned to try to get get on that before he took the other two. Exactly. If that was me, exactly. I would be livid sitting there because that is bread and butter. You would be expecting to get them all day yeah. long. When you when you manufacture that situation because of loss of position, then there's a bit of negativity in your mind thinking yeah. I shouldn't be in this situation yeah and that drives you to missing the ball yeah whereas where, whereas actually like you know I, I often say it if if he found himself in that situation via the opponent um, leaving him in it there yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd, he'd have nailed it yeah yeah he'd have nailed it definitely or, or yeah absolutely or if he played a good shot to give himself half a chance then but as it happened it was just due to lack of position uh, uh, earlier on in the in the clearance yeah but but Carl just can't cement in at the moment he's um his break's not working for him and it's another dry one and uh, Hitton's got another tough ball at the bottom of the table if this red doesn't pass the yellow which I don't think it does no he's on absolutely nothing but Carl's going to be livid because he's he's literally just got his, his nose back into the match. He's had an opportunity he never thought he was going to have for four two. Nails the break. He's he's and then the breaks let him down again. Yeah. And the balls are apart from again these two that are stuck down the bottom. He's you know he he's now on the worst suit. He is, but they're, they're not they're not horrible. I mean he he's got an opener to top left, which is a tough pot, but. In a minute, he could. Well, if he can get through to this one and it goes to middle, that's that's even better. This actually isn't a horrible chance. I mean, reds are better, but one good shot, one one good combo shot. Well, it's sitting right over the pocket, yeah. so you would expect him. Although that's my worst shot at the moment because I'm not. I've never played because I've never been a black ball player. Um, I've had. I've, I still haven't mastered. Yeah, there's a cert there's a certain way to play it. I've been trying to practice it, and I just find it really hard. Mm. It, it's 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 not a screw shot. It's a it's a it's like a soft screw. It's like a. Yeah. I mean, if you if you play it with any kind of stun, then it just kills the cue ball dead. There's there's definitely an art to it. There's a knack to it. It's in, almost in like your you're caressing it, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. 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 I'm not too bad in practice, but when it comes to a match, I, everything just 
honestly, my head just disappears and... Mm. He's not happy. You could see from his body language he's not happy and he, he wanted to be right behind this yellow. This the straighter is straighter the better, yeah. It, it, at this level, it, if he's right behind this, it, it's it's pretty much a gimme. But from this angle, it it increases the difficulty fivefold. And again, it you, because like you say about the you don't want a lot of pace, you know. It, he might he might just be looking at a loss of turn here, but again, yeah, and leave it sitting on the yellow, come off off the cushion, and. I think he feels he has to try and make this clearance though. That's okay, okay, not great. I mean, you don't want to be playing a, you don't want to be playing a combo shot from here. Surely this is harder from here than from where he was a second ago. Dead weight loss of turn. Oh no, he's he's playing at the top, so he's definitely playing a, a loss of turn. He's going to try and run the cue ball in, in behind the other yellow. Mm. I mean, it was. It was never, it was never going, playing it that way. No. Uh, playing, it, playing it with top and... Mm, no. I mean, I know the, the reds are messy, but I, I maybe have, I would have played a loss of turn and just left the white dead on the top. top Absolutely, cushion I agree. And, and left agree. nothing at all. Yeah. The, the problem you've got is you're allowing your opponent to get their hand on the table and, and manufacture, because again, one, one good double... Oh. Well, he's going to have to play one hell of a good double if he if he does take that on. But I'm not, I'm not convinced he will. I don't know. It's um. How, how can he not? He, I mean, obviously he'll probably try to take this one down the rail. But if it drops, he's he's then in a position where yeah he's got to go. He yeah. can't hide. No, no, he's got to go from here. No, no. But I think he'd probably take that. Mm. Don't know. I think the eight. I think the eight ball passes that. You know, I think it passes. Oh yeah, off the yeah. I think it goes cushion first off the red. I was going to fancy that. He's at the stop. Yeah, that's fine. Could elect to play either here. If he just feels he's got the wrong angle, if that angle's pushing into the red, I mean, he, he can definitely. Stun off the cushion. He could go forward as well. Yeah, it just came around. Well, I think you can take it into the again. If you just drop it, he's got yeah. uh, he, both he, both top pockets, middle. Yeah, he's, I think he's going to probably stun across into the red and leave it for middle. Or he could just play it, just play it plain ball. And it's oh. going to have the same effect. Yeah, that's, that's that's okay. That's nice. That's nice. Little fiddly one, but I'll take it. I think you'll fancy this. Is he going at the top corner? Yeah. Surely the so. middle. Surely it's the middle from here. Oh, well, some pop, but. It was just off straight. It was <laughs> probably straighter than it looked for yeah, us. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Ooh, that's dry again. And. Um, a lot better split for him there, yeah. wasn't there? Threatening that um, that top corner pocket, that cue ball. He's heading towards one and then get kicked towards the other. And actually the reds have opened up. They look pretty good. It's I think both are alright to be fair. They are actually, yeah. I mean you I could make a case for either. Maybe yellows are because because of the uh, because of the eight ball. Yeah, I think the top top yellow out of those two that are together into the middle. Yeah, yeah. Reds obviously present a problem if you if you do go them because uh, you can have an issue with the eight ball. It doesn't go to bottom right. So oh dear, oh. Oh. that's unforgivable. That really is. I had to make sure of that it wasn't a gimme, but I think you back yourself to get that ball. Again, after coming back from 4-1, the op perfect opportunity with the way the balls were to to tie the game up. There's another banana skin on this table, though, Babs. That yeah. that yellow just below the bulk line is is in a horrible position. 
and maybe he's going to he's going to try and cut it in now because it's the the worst ball by far on the table. Doesn't go top right. Doesn't go top left. For, oh. for me, that's frame ball. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a great shot. Yeah, that's frame ball. Super shot. Or it should be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was a big problem on the table. And now he's got rid of that. It should be fairly plain sailing. He's going to take the yellow second closest to the to the pocket and then go left centre and then just work his way down the table. Again, there is one, I guess there's one problem ball again, which is just needs some attention, and that's the, the kind of the second yellow up the table. I think it goes now, I think it goes to bottom left. Um, I also think it goes to left centre. Yeah, maybe, maybe it does, yeah, I think and you're probably right. And I think with the, because he's, he's actually not come he's through far angle. enough, he's got the wrong angle, so, but he, again, if possible, you can he's leave a thin snick on, on the one then to the right centre and that will enable him to get onto that awkward I line. think at the moment he's actually on all four of these yellows but horribly on all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean they all put I think. Yeah. I think even the yellow close to the pocket went to, to bottom right. But I think this is going to actually work out perfect because I actually think uh, the white is going to be held on the red because this is thin enough to come off of the side cushion and then that red ball will hold it for yeah. the, the, the yeah. yellow into the left centre. Yeah. Yeah, just needs a full ball contact, kick the red out of the way. And just come below it. Mm. That's okay. It's okay. Still needs a bit of work. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, perhaps. Again, I think he can just dink it up for but again can he, can he get nice on that yellow though to get back down for the eight? I mean You'd have to be going up and down again, oh, I think. Oh, I'm not sure I like this. I just know it's fiddly. It's really fiddly. Again, if he can get a full ball contact on that red that he's just looked at. Fiddly. Oh. Fiddly. It's not touching ball. So it looks like he can play across it. But the cue ball is going to be flying around the table. It's actually probably going to work out perfect if you look. Should be coming off a two, three cushions. Oh, oh I actually will probably take that. It's I mean, a he's, shot. He's... he's punch the table but actually he's got a shot at it. Is it chip in a chair? <laughs> Absolutely. Thin cut. Even over wouldn't be bad. Do you know it if he if he landed that dead weight over the pocket, yeah. that wouldn't have been bad. No. But again he's what he's leaving not when he is missing, yeah. he's leaving not a lot. Easy little uh Thinking behind him for Carl though, and um, uh, he's left a one cushion escape. He has left a one cushion escape, but uh, this needs a good shot. It needs a miracle shot. Not in oh, the middle, sure. Oh my goodness wow. me! Perhaps what's he left again? What's he left again? Carl must be going mad because he can't get his hand on the table. He just can't. Fuming. Surely you've just got to duck in behind those two reds, Carl. Have to. Okay. That'll do. Yeah, that's the other way of playing it. He's, that's nice actually because he's he's blocked the up and down. So Hitton's going to have to play to the right of these with loads of side. He's going to have to flick that into the middle. Wow. Oh, wow. Not wasn't a million miles no, away, it was wasn't. it? Not a million miles away. Now with ball in hand. Carl Morris can do some damage. He's away. He'd love to ha be able to get in behind one of those two reds, but neither of them goes. But he can leave an angle just to come over and split them out. Yeah. He'll Perfect. Take that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's away. Seven minutes left on the clock. Of course, we're on the 15 second timer now as well. Carl, naturally a thinking player. So, yeah. don't have the time. Him and Phil Harrison kind of in the same mould when it comes to that there. I'd love to be able to have a look at the, the shot and see it. But, um, but Carl is pretty quick when he wants to be. Well, it's like a lot of us oldies. We, we've we just used the time that was allowed to us. Yeah. And it, people assume that you're a slow player, but we can play yeah. quicker if yeah. we have to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
well. Drama towards the end of this match. Well, it wouldn't be Carl if there wasn't any drama, was it? It's a little bit of pressure on that shot, playing it back, back into that blind pocket, but he took a little extra time just to navigate the shot. And um, should be a simple eight ball, barring some kind of miscue or disaster. Will Square to get onto the eight ball and from nowhere he's won that match jumped in the air with a fist pump wow what an exciting finish to that game I think we're going to have the same here to be honest Babs I really well, do Carl's broke dry but oh, incredible it's just a, they're trading dry breaks at the moment that red nearly going in again but it's pretty messy yeah. and I've just seen um, just been watching I've, I've literally just been watching his and sat in his chair and there's been a couple of little shakes of the head and obviously being 4-1 up to being pegged back to 4-all. To so, um, mm. That's a nice position of shot. It's finished on the cushion though. Judged it well but just a little bit close to the cushion. It's going to be hard to get nice on his next ball now. So just taking his medicine. Doesn't have to, well, just a little bit of angle here. Can he kill the cue ball? Suddenly become tough again, Babs. Yeah, I think... I think if you look at both players and the way they're playing, I, I, nice. I, I do think hit ends looked a lot more comfortable at times, but obviously both have made mistakes, but he, he has looked more comfortable than doing Carl. I think he's forced into, yeah, I was going to say he's forced into cannon in the yellow to leave an angle on that last red, uh, on that on that second last red to come down the table, and that was a delightful little cannon, judged it well. Again, and one that could have gone wrong as soon as you're targeting a ball, and again, that's perfect. You can just drift this in. He may punch it and just bring the cue back to the left side, but he could drift it. Yeah, he's just drifted it. And oh, just what you need. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But they have been trading dry breaks. So Carl Morris can just hope that he gets a chance in the next frame. There's plenty of time. There's three minutes, 33. This is massive for Hitton. Has to make a ball. That's not a good bomb burst. But look at that. Didn't seem to time them at all. But he's got a ball. <sighs> what a mess, though. I mean, he will be delighted at yeah. this table. Absolutely delighted. Carl's going to be sat there fuming. Because if Hitton can just make a few balls and just take another minute off the clock then it's going to be tough for Carl to to make any kind of attempt here what Hitton doesn't want to do is is just start like opening the table up yeah and then missing the clearance he's just better off leaving the clusters he's a bit all at odds about what to do at the moment and you can understand why I think I'd be playing safe right here Maybe pop one more ball. That'll do. Yeah, that, that, that works. Although, saying that, I think that yellow next to the red, does it go? Well, if that if goes, it does, he it can open up everything. Yeah. But I'm not convinced it does. No, definitely not. He's playing a double. He's playing a double. It just doesn't okay. have the time there. There's still two and a half minutes, so... As I say, Hitton just needs to... Just try and keep things tight. Doesn't want to open things up. Even this shot's going to open up another yellow. See, see, There's only so long you can burn off the clock. Carl's going to have a chance here. It's going to be a messy table, but he will have some kind of chance. I mean, Carl's left... Um, Hitton's left five, six seconds behind there. Yeah. He didn't even wait until the beeps. I'm not sure he's going to be able to split these. made that look easy what do I know but he, now he, he's kind of forced into into making this clearance otherwise he is going to leave Carl some kind of uh, of go at him you could see Carl Sutton running around like a headless chicken in a minute Carl Morris even yeah. Carl Morris <laughs> sorry you don't have to apologise to me he keeps potting what can you say he keeps potting if he does make this clearance it's going to be fabulous and the way he potted the first red in this frame you can just see him stroking this in now yeah Absolutely. Oh, oh fair nice. play to you, Hitton Patel. Fair yeah. play to you, sir. 
Carl, you just saw in the background, his arm went in the air. He can't believe that it has made this clearance. That is top draw, yeah. right at the top draw. Absolutely yes. brilliant. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely a, brilliant. That's a fantastic clearance. I, I felt that he was just potting himself into trouble there. I just could not see him making that clearance, but that really is fantastic. I don't think the breaks have been kind. Like I say, his, his have been opening up very wide, a lot of the earlier breaks. Yeah. From and it's dry again. I mean, I and think the, he's the, just going to shake hands, isn't he? Yeah, he's just going to turn yeah. around and shake hands. Yes, indeed. Well, it was a great game. It had a lot yeah. of drama throughout it. And uh, it's Hitton Patel that, that finds his way now in the last eight. What an opportunity for him.